Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Because guess what? We are in... Matter of, yeah, get that. Get that first. Read that. I want to please ask you 77 because that's the issue. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 43. Three. They said one to another. So the man you see right here, we looked at one another. This what we said to one another. Read. Let us restore the decayed state of our people. That's why we out here. We are out here to pass. We are here to restore the decayed estate of our people. That's right. Get Ecclesiastes 77. Brother, want to know the, uh, the good news, the offense uh, of what the enemies have done to us. What's going to happen to them? Yeah. Come here, come here. We're going to show you, bro. What's your name? Jamarcus. Jamarcus. So you want to know what's going to happen to the people that put us in slavery? All right, we're going to get straight to it. And then I want to show you some laws. Because guess what? It's going to happen, and I want you to be right there with me, but you got to do something to be right there on the side of me when we go and we seek the vengeance on them. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read what you got. Revelations 13 and all. Yeah. Right, we're going to get straight to the point. Because the brother said he want to know what's going to happen to him. Right. We're going to know what's happened to him. And, and then get Exodus 21 and 16. Uh, Read. Exodus 31. I mean, Exodus 13. I mean... Revelation 13 and verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So it say, if any man have an ear, let him hear. We all got ears, right? right. So when they talking about just ears, what he's saying is, if you have understanding, understand this. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Was not the blacks, Hispanics, and natives led into captivity? Was it we led into captivity? Slavery. So it say, the man that led us into slavery. Read. Shall go into captivity. He's going into slavery. The same man that put the yokes of iron on our neck, guess what? He gonna have them on his neck. Read. He that killeth with a sword. The blacks were killed with the sword. We was killed with guns. We was hung from trees. He said those that was hung from trees and killed with swords, read. Must be killed with the sword. The same one that killed us, he gotta be killed with the sword. So the end result, the end game is, guess what? They gonna be up under us. We gonna rule. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? We gonna rule. But guess what, Jamarcus? I don't pray. Can I say I'm 14? We gonna show you that too. But it's 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 a stipulation. It's a stipulation. Most like God ain't just putting everybody in this army. You know when we go sign up for an army, you gotta have certain requirements, right? right. The Most High God got certain requirements before we can get in His army. We gonna show you those requirements. Read what you got. The Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse one. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So there you go again. The Lord is going to have mercy or grace on Jacob. Jacob is who you see over here. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The most High God says he's going to have mercy on you, Jamarcus. Read. And will yet choose Israel. He said even though we went off and did all the stuff that we did, he said he's going to still deal with you, Jamarcus, when you repent. Read. And set them in their own land. And we're going back to our own land, which is Jerusalem. We're right. going back to our own land. We yeah. And the strangers shall be joined with them. He said, and the strangers, the strangers, the strangers is the other nations. The so-called Chinese, the so-called Arabs, the so-called Africans, the so-called white men. Those are the strangers. Let's see what's going to happen to the strangers. We. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They gonna cleave to the house of Jacob. Stay with me now, Jamarcus. I'm trying to give you that medicine. You asked for it, I'm trying to give it to you. You gotta stay with me though. Read. 
and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to take them. If I take something from you, did you give it to me? So we ain't coming. They ain't giving us nothing. We're going to take them. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. If I possess something, what that mean? I possess this jacket. That means it's what? It's, huh? If I possess it, it means what? I, it belongs to me. Right. It's mine. The most High God said, Jamarcus, when you repent and you get your mind right, you're going to possess those other nations. But remember, we was talking about the army and the requirements, right? Let's get the requirements, Jamarcus. Get, uh, get through the running of 10 and 12. We need the requirements first, Jamarcus. We can't just jump on the front line and we ain't got the proper weapons. You got to have the proper weapons to go to war. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to give you the weapons, but it's up to you to use them. Watch this. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. And now, Jamarcus, you want to know how you go, what's going to happen to the other nations, Jamarcus? He say, now, nah, Jamarcus, in order for you to understand it, in order for you to have the other nations up under you, read. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What do I need from you now, Jamarcus? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You have to fear God. The me you see up here right now, the only reason why we out here is because we fear God. Right. We knew God should not commit adultery, but we were sleeping from woman to woman to woman. But when we knew that the most I got to put us to death, then we began to fear God. Right. Then he started to deal with us. Right. You got to seek out and fear God and know that if you don't keep his commandments, it's a judgment behind it. Right. Right? To walk in all his ways. We got to walk in all his ways. Not some of them. Not some. All of his ways we have to walk in them. Read. To love him. How do we love God? It's going to explain to it. Because a lot of our people think that we love God, but we have no idea on how to love God. Because like the officer was bringing out, everything that we was taught, bro, we was taught on plantations. We ain't know nothing. And now we think we deep. We think we know everything. We think we know the Bible. And you know, half our people don't even read the dang old Bible. They just parakeets. They hear somebody say something, they repeat it. So read it again. To love him. So we're going to see how we love God. Read. And to serve the Lord. Thy and God. now we're going to see how we serve him. We're going to see how we love him and how we serve God. Read. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. In order to love God, in order to serve God, you have to keep his commandments. Yes, it's just like we're talking about with the army. When you go to the army, they got protocols. They say you got to do A, B, and C. And you have to serve in the army according to their protocol. In order to serve God, you have to do his protocol. Now let's get it plain. Get First John 5 and 3. Let's get it plain on how we love God, Jamarcus. And then I want to show you a commandment. Do you love God? All praises. And then I want uh, 1 Corinthians about the head. So we're going to show you, right, how to love God. And then the Most High God going to see if you're ready to love him yet. Because a lot of times we say we love God, Jamarcus, but we don't have no idea. And it's not your fault. Guess what? It's the people before us. Our parents didn't know. All this came from these cotton fields. That's why we don't know. So we ain't out here to bash. I didn't know. But you're going to know today, all right? Roll. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So, Jamarcus, this is how we love God. The most I got for to tell you how you can love him. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Hey, bro, what's your name? William. Okay, William. All praises. I hear you said that you got you to gotta love him, keep his commandments, right? All praises. So, you got to keep him with us, too. We need you on this side, too, as well. Let go. We're going to ride. Read it. That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. So he said in order to love him, Jamarcus, you got to keep his commandments. Then he turned around and said, hey, Jamarcus, man, loving me, it ain't hard. Right. So now I'm going to show you a commandment according to the Bible so that you can show your God how you love him. Watch this. But you got to be ready to, you, 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 you said you're ready to have them other nations up under you, right? You want to know the vengeance, right? So now, you coming to serve the Lord, you got to know how to serve him. Right? So we finna give you the tools on how you can be right there with us, ruling over these other nations. Right. But you got to be willing to accept it, alright? So this is how we love God. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man, Drew Marcus, is Christ. Your head is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Yes. That's who your head is. That's every man head you see up here. That's your head. Right. Read. 
and the head of every woman is the man. So if you had a wife, you would be your wife's head. So what you what we read right now is divine order. The Bible's all about order. We all have somebody to answer to. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So Jamarcus, Christ, he ain't gonna do his own will. He have to answer to God. So the man that Christ gonna speak with is God. Read. Every every man. Praying or prophesying. Right now we're in the midst of prophecy. We showed you, remember we showed you that the other nations going into this captivity, right? That's a prophecy. So we're going over prophecy right now. So let's see what you're supposed to do with prophecy coming out. We Having his head covered. Is your head covered right now? What you got on your head? You got a hood on your head. So it's like any man praying or prophesying having his head covered. We Dishonored his head. Who is your head? Christ. So, that, that, that brother in the spirit. So he said, if any man cover his head while the scripture's coming out, you dishonoring Jesus Christ. Because right. that's your head. So to show God that you love him, what should you do? Take it off. Right. Take it off. Take it off. All praise to the most high. Get Luke 15 and 9. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you so. I'll praise the most. Y'all clap it up for that man. I'm going to show you so, Jamarcus. What you just did right now, that's revolutionary. Bring it up. That's revolutionary. You just started something you don't even understand. That's mighty. Something that small. Watch this though. Luke 15 and 9. Luke chapter 15 and verse 9. And when she had found. Started at uh, 10. Verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you. So, Jamarcus, Christ say, I say unto you, read. There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. It said the angels right now are rejoicing. That's right. The angels is like all oh, praises. My servant took his took his hood off so he can show God that he love him. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>